Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. Now, if you are anything like me, last month in July when this product launched, I freaked out and I bought everything at like seven o'clock in the morning, but I have had enough time with the Hot Topic exclusive fashion line that came out last month to give you a nice review of each of these products so that you know how they fit, what the fabric and material is made out of, how durable they are, etc., etc. So I'm also doing a lookbook in this video to give you some ideas of how you can wear these different items. I got a lot of inspiration from the 1990s and I think that comes through in what I chose to wear. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the shirt that I'm currently wearing, which is the Sailor Saturn Striped Baby Girls shirt. So this is the Sailor Saturn Striped Girls Baby T-shirt. It starts at 20 $28.90. You can still find a lot of the sizing options online. As you can see in my video, I'm wearing this with a pair of black leggings, which are from Black Milk Clothing. I love that store. And a pair of high-heeled Freebirds. I'm also wearing this really cool cardigan over it, which I will get to in a second. I also tried wearing this shirt with the brand new pair of Sailor Moon jeans that came out at Hot Topic as well, and I will tell you more about those in just a moment. So this is definitely definitely a girl's baby style t-shirt, which means that it's shorter, it's also going to be thinner, and it's cut a little bit slimmer as well. And on the front, you do have an embroidery of Sailor Saturn's symbol for her planetary symbol, which I thought was really cool. I like that it's a very discreet shirt. It doesn't scream Sailor Moon, so if you're not feeling like screaming Sailor Moon to the world on a certain day, then this is an excellent choice to wear. It's also very thin, so it feels really good in the summer months. For example, I was running around to like the post office and UPS today and everything like that, and it felt really good to wear because it didn't make me super sweaty. I did have to size down slightly. I was expecting this to fit very slim. I ended up getting a medium, however, I could have probably gotten a small and gotten away with it too because I do have some extra room on the side of my chest as well as underneath my sleeves. So I think I could have gotten away with a small but this is a really comfortable fit. I have not washed it yet so I'm expecting once I wash it to have a little bit of shrinkage but not too much. This shirt is made out of polyester, cotton, rayon, and spandex so you will notice that it is a little bit stretchy but not too much and it is listed in those junior sizes which is one of the reasons why I chose to get a medium. So moving on from there, I'm also going to show you this card again, which I am obsessed with. In fact, I bought two because I figured when I use this one enough and I wear it enough, which I know I'm going to, I'm probably going to be very sad. So I ended up buying an extra because I'm like that. So at time of recording, this cardigan is no longer available on the Hot Topic store. I ended up getting this in a size small. This is a Sailor Pluto inspired cardigan and it is a burnout velvet cardigan, which means that you can kind of see through it. And if I hold it up in front of the camera, you can kind of see through it. You can see over to me behind there. You can almost see my shelf back there with the lighting. Now, if I spread this out on my table, you can kind of see it from my top down camera. There is a bunch of Sailor Pluto's symbols in here in this really cool pattern. And you also see the top of her talisman right there. So it does have a very cool pattern. It's again, very discreet. So you would definitely have to be looking for Sailor Moon items when you're wearing this. Now with this cardigan, I got a large and a small. There was no medium option. Both of them fit fine, but I kind of like this one more because it was a little bit shorter and it still covered up my tush when I was wearing it and standing up, which I appreciated with a longer cardigan. I felt like the large was a little bit overbearing, but it still looked really good. So technically I could have kept that one too. I just ended up deciding to return that one and getting another small. Here it is, Burnout Velvet. So I paid $36.90 for this, and I felt like that was a really good price for such a nice piece. However, since this is velvet, I did notice if you're wearing this with lighter colors, some of that velvet, some of the velvet bits will come off onto the lighter color clothing. It'll kind of rub off. That's one of the reasons I bought a second one because I felt like over time this will rub off. Oh, and look what I just noticed. There's staffs. Do you see that right there? That's Sailor Pluto staff. That is so cool. I love that. 
Oh, that is so neat. I just love this pattern. I think it's beautiful and I think it looks really good over darker colors. So keep that in mind. Okay, so next up we have the Chibi Yusa hoodie. This is a very warm hoodie. I took it off almost immediately after I did the lookbook shoot because it was way too hot to wear today. I was iffy on this one, but I kept it because Instagram, I did a poll on Instagram and y'all told me that I should keep it. So I'm keeping it. I got a size medium. The reason why I didn't want to keep it at first is because of the sleeves. The sleeves on here are cut kind of strangely. They go from very, very large and wide near the shoulder to very narrow at your hand. So when you're wearing it, it kind of, it's pretty snug around your wrist while it's pretty open and gives you a lot of space up at the top. Now I know that's a pretty fashionable option to wear, but sometimes that kind of bugs me if something's too snug. Um, but I did wear it a few more times and I have fallen in love with it. So I am happy that I kept it. On the back, we have this really cool, it's almost like a sailor uniform top, that collar, very similar to what we see on the Fukus. So this one says Chibiusa in a very cute handwriting with little hearts for the top of the eyes. And on the front, we have Luna P printed over the chest. And we also have a bit of cover at the front as well, where you have a split up at the top of the chest and that gives you a little bit of, a little bit more privacy. It is extremely soft on the inside. You'll notice that it has this very soft texture to it. And if you purchased the last line from Hot Topic, uh, there was a Sailor Jupiter hoodie, which I also have, that has a very similar print. It uses the same material, kind of, it's almost like a rubberized texture. It's very interesting to feel and it's almost raised. Uh, it uses the same exact texture as that Sailor Jupiter hoodie. So if you already had that, then you know what to expect with this one. So some sizes of this are still available online and you can find it for, it's currently on sale for $35.92, 20% off. However, the MSRP on this was $44.90. Now with that Chibiusa hoodie, this matches perfectly and it is so cute. It also matches a skirt, which I will show you in a bit, but I'm going to go ahead and show you this because I love it. This is a lounge fly backpack. It's one of the mini backpacks, just like you would see at Disneyland, for example. This one has a front closure as well as a large closure in the back. So this one features an all over print of Luna P, not Luna, Luna P. This is just made out of the same kind of pleather material that you get with lounge fly bags, but this does say Sailor Moon and it is embossed in this beautiful gold texture. One of the cute pieces on this backpack is this very adorable little Luna P key ring right here. And it does say Sailor Moon on the back. The other one is not fancy or anything. It's just a simple one. Since this is a lounge fly backpack, it's built and it's constructed very similar to other lounge fly backpacks. So nothing different on the back. We still have the loop to hang up your backpack. On the inside, there is a tag that says lounge fly on it. So you do know that it is a lounge fly bag. And then you also have a very small little pocket at the very back. Now, something else that we saw in the stores is this adorable little card holder. This was also available online. On the side, we have a little logo tag that says Sailor Moon on it. This does cost $14.90 and it's also by Loungefly. Now this features the same exact print, the same exact colors as the Lounge Fly backpack. So if you want to carry these around together, they will totally match for you. Very cute. Now that bag is a Hot Topic exclusive. So if you're still looking for it, luckily it is still available. And the retail price on that one is $49.90. So moving on from there, we also have another hoodie. This one is also $49.90, and this is the Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus hoodie. So this is the back of the hoodie. You can see a beautiful print of Uranus and Neptune. And then on the front, we have a half pull zipper, which just goes down to the chest with a little heart at the end, which I thought was very cute. And unlike the Chibiusa hoodie, this one does have a pocket in the front, so you can put your hands in there and warm up. I felt like this one was a little bit more normal as far as how it is made. So the sleeves are pretty normal feeling, and the inside of this is made out of the same really soft material. I also got this one in a medium as well, and I thought that it fit 
very comfortably. So I was very happy with this hoodie. And another thing, unlike the Chibiusa one, this one does include a hood. So I wore this out when it was raining one day in Denver and it took care of the rain just fine since it wasn't beating down on me. Now, of course, this is cotton and polyester. So I thought it was really cute. I love it. Now this shirt, was a big inspiration for me. I love this shirt so much. It's one of my favorites. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but it's definitely my cup of tea because I'm really into 1990s fashion. And this reminds me of so many shirts that I saw guys wearing in high school and I never knew where they got them. So when I got my hands on this shirt, I was like, this is the fashion choice I wanna make. So I tried to figure out how can I actually wear this and make it look decent for a 35 year old woman. I'm sure that some people are like, why are you wearing this incredibly, incredibly bright and exciting shirt as a 35 year old woman, but I didn't care. So I did end up finding a really good idea for this one. I ended up wearing it with a pair of black leggings, just very simple black leggings and my leather heels. And I thought it looked so freaking cute, especially if you're walking around with a nice purse, like my pink purse from Box Lunch. What is that? Yes, incoming in a future video. But in the meantime, I thought that it looked kind of trendy and really awesome together. So this is my 1990s guys shirt, at least that's what I'm calling it, because that's what it reminds me of, is the, the guys in high school that I used to hang out with and the really cool shirts that they would always wear to school. So this is called the Sailor Moon Characters Sublimated Woven Button Up. It costs $49.90. It is in guys sizes, so I ended up getting an extra small, and you can tell that it still has room to grow. So it's definitely a roomy shirt for sure. Now, I wanted to point something out with this shirt, even though it looks very high quality. I already had a problem with it. The bottom button came off. It just slipped right off. Luckily I was home and it does come with an extra button. So here's the extra button. And I do have the button that fell off. So now I have this one that I can sew back on. So I will have to sew that back on. Uh, that small issue, but nothing I can't fix. So I'll just have to take care of that later. But the button did fall off and that's why you don't see it in the lookbook when I'm wearing it. This one is currently available in several sizes online. So you do have a lot of luck getting it if you haven't got it yet. This is also 100% polyester and I haven't washed it yet, but my guess is the colors might run. So I'm going to wash it in the coldest of cold water and hopefully that will keep it from running. It does say wash cold dry low so definitely keep that in mind when you're washing something like this because if you if you run it on hot I'd be very worried that the colors would run so this is my sublimated shirt it's probably my favorite piece well there's a skirt that might be my favorite piece as well but I don't know the sailor pluto cardigan is pretty amazing too so <laughs> there's so many good pieces in this entire line but this is one of my faves absolutely it's so easy to love this thing like i want to wear it every day because it's just so freaking cool and it screams sailor moon at the top of its lungs which i love okay so i mentioned it a little bit when i was talking about this shirt but we also got a pair of jeans these were fun to try on it was very hard to find the right sizing and there's a reason behind that. The reason is because these are called mom jeans. So they're meant to be somewhat loose and they're not the most form fitting pair of jeans. And I feel like I could size down even more than what I ended up getting, but these do offer me some room, which is nice. But I was a little worried that a smaller size wouldn't fit over my hips because I have decently sized hips. So I ended up going with a size one. So these are a size one and they fit me very well, although they're still a little bit loose. So I'm wondering if maybe I should go online and see if they still have the smaller size because I think they had a size zero as well. So those might fit better, but I'm pretty sure they are sold out. So I also ended up getting an extra pair of these <laughs> because we never get Sailor Moon jeans ever and these are so cool. They're so pretty and they have so much embroidery work and they just look really beautiful. So even if these are too loose for me, I could totally wear them with a belt and they would look awesome. So these are still available in the plus size and those are $54.90. So I paid $49.90 when I bought these and you will notice on these, when I hold them up, you have a whole bunch of different embroidered pieces on these pair of pants. So there's the crescent moon, 
there's Sailor Moon's wand up at the top. And then on the other side, we also have cute little Luna print. And we have the compact up at the top, right underneath the pocket, which I thought was so cool. And on the back, on the pocket, it says, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. And I thought that was so beautiful. So I originally tried these in a size five because my sizing, depending on where I go, ranges between, I wanna say a size six all the way down to a size two or a four. Um, I have some lucky jeans in here somewhere that are a size two, another pair that are a size four. So it's really hard to find sizing oftentimes as a woman. So I ended up getting these in the size one. And again, they were still a little bit loose. So if you are trying to figure out what size to wear with these mom jeans, which are intended to be a little loose, um, my sizing is around 26, 36 for my waist. So if you're somewhere around there, then you may be able to size down a little bit or wear the size ones. So I thought these were very cute. Uh, I would definitely pair these with just a random t-shirt. Like for example, I have this t-shirt that I also got at Hot Topic quite recently. This is a very cute t-shirt that looks very classic and I thought it fit perfectly with this kind of 1990s vibe that I, I was getting from the jeans as well. So I wore this with it. I also wore this top with the mom jeans and I thought these looked cute too. So it kind of just depends on what kind of vibe you're going for, but just keep in mind that these are relatively loose, so it might look best if you're wearing a fitted top with the looser jeans. Now, speaking of this top again, I also got this very cute little crossbody bag, which I felt like would be perfect for travel because it's so simple and so easy, and it's so nice to be able to just throw this thing into your luggage and be able to go. It takes up no room whatsoever, so this would be a very nice little travel purse. So ironically, this is called the Passport crossbody bag and I can definitely agree with that name and this one costs $14.90. You can tell this is inspired by the outer Sailor Senshi. So you have Neptune's mirror, you have Sailor Saturn's scythe, you have Sailor Pluto's talisman, and you also have Sailor Uranus's sword. They are printed all over and then you also have the wands and you have Chibi Moon's wand, you have Sailor Moon's wand and her compact and some crescent moons. So there's all sorts of really cool little icons on here. I thought it was very cute. There's two pockets. There's one on the front. There's also a pocket in the back. Ta-da! No additional pockets inside of there. And it will probably surprise you. This is Loungefly. Isn't that weird? I know. Good job, Loungefly. We like it. All right, up next in the fashion line, it is a little bit different than what we have seen so far, I must say, but I felt like these matched very well together, so I will do them together. So first off, we have the Sailor Moon Pretty Guardian Icons Biker Shorts. These are $22.90. They are quite stretchy, I feel like. They do fit very, very snugly and they fit very comfortably on me. So if I am working out, these are definitely something that I would wear. I don't know if they would pick up a lot of sweat or anything or show sweat, but they might. So keep that in mind. But I really like the print on one side of the leg showing all the different wands and talismans. That's really cute. On the other side, it says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. And when I look at this, I feel like I must have blurry vision because it's printed that way. There's nothing on the back just on the front, and I ended up getting a size medium on these. I decided to wear that with this really cute shirt, which starts at $26.90. This features all of the Sailor Senshi, including Sailor Saturn and Sailor Pluto. Where's she at? There's Sailor Pluto. So this features all of them in this full cover print, which says, in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. And then it says, pretty guardian Sailor Moon up at the bottom. So I think this print really matches the colors of the biker shorts as well. So I liked wearing them together. Now this is in, I think it's either unisex sizes or guys sizes. I got an extra small and you can see that it still kind of swallows me. So definitely size down on this if you are looking to purchase it. One of the interesting pieces on this is the mesh at the edges. So this is a mesh hem that you will find on both of the sleeves as well as the bottom. 
thought that was pretty interesting. It does pull on things. So if you have like a snag in your nail or something like that, like I do, then it will definitely pull on that. But otherwise I thought it was a nice little design addition. I think it's really cool looking. I'm almost done. I only have three items left, but I'm very excited to show you these because they're some of my favorites as well. So I'm gonna save the best for last. This is my fave. I love it so much, it's so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this very cute, very adorable, very casual item. I thought this was really cute too. So this is the Luna Skirt Haul. So it's a skirt, it's overalls. So it's a skirt haul, <laughs> whatever that means. I've never bought something that was a skirt haul, so I didn't know what to expect when purchasing it. I figured it was just overalls, but no, it's a skirt with overalls. So you have these two straps, which are adjustable at the back. You also have a zipper on the back so you can zip it closed and it has a little latch at the top for the enclosure. Now I had to size down on this. I ended up getting a size small because the medium gave me too much room in my waist. Again, I'm like a 26 inch waist, I believe. So that's probably why. And I also noticed that it has pockets. That's probably one of my favorite pieces is the fact that it has Freaking pockets is so cool. I ended up wearing this to a farmer's market and I got a few compliments on it from people that I don't think they knew what Sailor Moon was. They just were like, oh, it's a cat on your front pocket. That's adorable. Uh, I used this to put my cash <laughs> when I was walking around the farmer's market and it was super cute. This is made out of a jean material, so it is somewhat stiff. It's not gonna fling around on you or anything. It's also not going to fly up on you, which is nice when you're wearing a skirt. And I would say when I was wearing this, it looked really cute with a simple white t-shirt and some white tennis shoes. That was like such a comfortable thing to wear. And it will be one of my little go-to fashion items whenever I don't feel like getting super dressed up, but I need to go outside. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Definitely cute, no stretch whatsoever. So keep that in mind too, if you do choose to size down. Well, I'm glad that I purchased this because uh, apparently it's sold out online as well. I don't see it online anymore. However, a lot of people saw these in their stores too. So you may get lucky. I bought this in a size medium. Again, this is one of those items where I feel like I might've been able to size down to a size small, but the medium does give me some additional room. So this is a very cute Constellation button-up shirt. It's very professional looking when you wear it, especially if you wanna wear this with a pair of like straight leg jeans or skinny jeans and maybe a pair of high heels. This could be a very nice professional thing to wear. It is extremely thin. So you can definitely see my hand through there. So keep that in mind if you purchase this, but it does feature some really, really cool little features. For example, there's some cute little stars for the buttons all along the front enclosure, which I thought was very cute. You also have some embroidery work up at the top on the collar. It says Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon. And there's also a cute little crescent moon right there. And then on the back, we have this beautiful foil constellation work and it features all of the Sailor Senshi planetary symbols. And I love the gold foil. I think it adds a really nice little touch and it's not overbearing, it's not overpowering. So if you wanna wear this out to like a professional setting, it's not gonna scream Sailor Moon like my favorite top would. This looks really cute with the Luna P skirt, which I'm about to show you and I will walk through a little bit more. This also looks really good with a pair of skinny jeans, which was one of my favorite items to wear with these and a pair of high heels. So this is a Luna skirt, which costs $39.90. It is still available on the website for Hot Topic, so you can still find this in some sizes in case you are still looking. But I wanted to save this for last because it's one of my favorite pieces, not just because of the design, but also because of the fabric and the materials used. So I feel like it's a excellent piece that any Sailor Moon collector would really enjoy having in their collection, even if not to wear, like just purchasing this because it's so pretty and it's so nice. It's so nice. So getting into this, obviously it is a skirt, as you can see here. One of my favorite features, it has pockets, which dude, so happy about that. It also features a pair of suspenders, which you can remove fully. They have a button enclosure on the back. 
And they also have this little buckle enclosure at the front so you can easily slide them off if you don't want to wear this with the suspenders. The suspenders are adjustable, which I really appreciate. So I was able to adjust these in order to make them fit really well with what I was wearing. This also features, and this is cute too, this really awesome iridescent see-through material, this fabric at the very bottom of the skirt. Yeah, dude, it's stretchy. So if you do end up wearing this and you're a little iffy on the sizing, I would say you probably could size down because it is so stretchy. This will look so good on so many people. And I think part of it is because it's a decent length, which is good. And it also has this stretchy back and that is so cool. And I'm so happy that they included that. They don't have a zipper. There's no buckle or anything like that. It is just stretchy. So you do have to fit this over your bum in order to make it fit. Now this is made out of polyester and spandex. And because of that, it is very, very soft to the touch. And it does not pick up a lot of wrinkles. Now, remember this shirt? This picks up a crap load of wrinkles. There's a reason why I have this on the hanger right now. And it's because if I take it off and I let it crumple to the floor, it immediately creates wrinkles. So keep that in mind as well. If you're purchasing this or if you're finding it aftermarket, you will have to steam clean it or dry clean in order to get all those wrinkles out because ugh, it's intense. Now, I believe it says, okay, so it says tumble dry low, do not iron screen print. Do not iron. So if this does get a bunch of wrinkles, you can't iron it. What I did in my dryer was I stuck it on a steam sanitize cycle and let it run for about 10 minutes. And that got out most of the wrinkles. So that worked really well. But again, with this skirt, doesn't pick up a lot of wrinkles. And I really, really like that about this skirt. Very, very happy with this. Love the print. It matches the backpack exactly. And it is so cute to wear with the backpack. You will get so many compliments. So many compliments. It is adorable. Highly recommend. So that is everything from my Hot Topic lookbook as well as my fashion haul. Again, most of these items are not available on heruniverse.com. A lot of them are still available on hottopic.com. So if you can't find your sizes in store or if they are online exclusives, definitely keep an eye out on the website because you may still be able to purchase these items. I spent a lot of money for this, but I'm really looking forward to using all of my hot cash because I got like three coupons here for hot cash. So I'm going to have a good time in September buying all sorts of, I don't know, hocus pocus items or something. We'll see. Let me know if you enjoyed my lookbook. Let me know if that's something that you would enjoy watching in the future for like these fashion haul lines. If you did enjoy it, comment below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, subscribing and watching my videos is one of the best best ways in order to allow me to make this content. I have so many videos coming out, so I'm going to go ahead and go, but thank you again for watching. And if you do have any questions and something that I didn't cover on this video, drop those in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer those for you. Thank you again for watching. I'm Sailor Snubs, and I'll see you next time. Johnny.